today I need to get some fertilizer going on my lawn. I'm going to use some liquid stuff to ease into the season here. We lost some of the color that was happening from those first mills as it got colder again and things sort of got really shocked and now I need to add something back. I need to bring some of this color back because it's not looking quite up to my standards. So I like to use liquids here, especially in the early season to ease things in. Right now is a perfect time for that because I'm about to get to a lot of spring growth here. I'd like to add a little bit of food to the lawn because I can tell the color wise, it needs a little something. It's been sort of stressed going into freezes and coming out of that and going back. And I would like to get something into the plant right now feed it directly and use a small amount of it as well so that I'm controlling growth. I'm not gonna cause any excessive thing to happen to where I'm gonna have trouble mowing. Especially when you're doing low cut turf like I have, you have to be very consistent with your fertilizers. Any excessive growth that's happening if you're really cutting it that low already can be difficult to deal with. You want to maintain giving the plant enough food, nothing excessive, and not too little. It's kind of a game that you're playing all the time with hoping to have the right amount of nutrients in the plant. So today, I'd like to add something, small doses, and go from there. So I've went ahead here today and picked up three products out of my Simple Lawn Solutions Lawn Essentials box. And this is three things that I want to apply. So first off today, I'm going to apply the Soil Hume. This is a humic fulvic blend and also has seaweed in it. So the seaweed is to help push some root health and root growth a little bit there. Humic to add to the soil here when I'm using my applications. So having that fulvic as well on the leaf blade when I add my liquid fertilizers will create some better efficiency on hopefully getting that into the leaf blade. That's gonna go first because I want this to be watered into the soil because I want the humic to get to the soil. Some of that fulvic will be staying on the leaves as it is there and then seaweed as well. I'm gonna put that down with the hose in and that way all these other applications going on top will continue to pretty much water that in as we go. The second thing I'm gonna be applying is the lawn food. This is just a fertilizer in a liquid form and again, as I mentioned, it will be going into the leaf blades to be used pretty much right away and you're not waiting on any release of that that or waiting for granular to break down. This is gonna be feeding it right when it gets onto that leaf blade. And so that's going down second and I will let that sit on the leaves for maybe an hour. You don't necessarily have to go that long or you could go really however long you want, but letting it sit on there working. Then lastly, I will be putting on some Lawn Energizer. This is an iron and micronutrient booster. So for, with my high pH soil, sometimes I like to apply iron to get a little extra boost of green and then having some other micronutrients since we have manganese and magnesium and sulfur in here. So that's gonna go on last and then same thing, I will let it sit on the leaf blades just for a little while and then I'll water all of that in. So also in the package, I've got these sprayers. The blue is for the lawn food and also you can use it with these Humix Fulvics. If it tends to not spray out of there very well, then you'll notice it pretty quickly because you won't see the dark color coming out. Then we have included a sprayer with a little larger opening so more product does come out and sometimes those are better for the Humix. But if it sprays out of this blue one first, that's probably easier, it won't come out quite as fast and you'll be able to control the product, how much is coming out a little better. If it doesn't come out of there well, then we've got three of these in the package, color-coded. The brown will be the one that will have the most amount of product coming out. And then blues, you can use for this or lawn food. And then we have a sort of pinkish purple, whatever you wanna call it, for the iron product. And the reason that you don't wanna mix this sprayer with this is that those two products can, together can cause some clumping just the materials of them. So you could simply rinse out all of these sprayers and use them over, it won't matter, but for a lot of people, if they just don't want the hassle of making sure nothing gets clogged, then just use the dedicated one for your iron and then rinse this out for either this product or this product.
Now, I've been hearing that these backpack sprayers have been sold out a lot online. It may be sort of difficult to get one right now, I'm not sure. On the back of these products here, it does give a rate for if you're putting it into a pump up sprayer or something, but I think they've been thinking about adjusting those just so the directions are slightly more clear. So today, if you think about this bottle on the hose end version covering 3,200 square feet, there's 32 ounces in here. So we're spraying that at 10 ounces per thousand square feet. And there's a recommended lower rate when you go to sprayers like a pump up sprayer or a backpack sprayer, just because when you're using fertilizers, they wanted to make sure that you minimize the risk that without carrying as much water with it, there's no potential for anything burning or any problems that way just in case you didn't get it watered in or you're letting it sit on there in hot weather. And you shouldn't be doing that anyway because you do not want to be spraying these in the middle of the day or blazing sun higher than 85 degrees. That's just something you want to avoid. Make sure you're minimizing anything by applying early or later in the day and then watering in. That's really why they dropped these rates, but when you're using the backpack sprayer, you can sort of use your own rate. It's very cool here today. It's still early morning and it's not going to get above 65 today. So I'm going to use the 10 ounce rate and I've got about 2,500 square feet. So then I'm gonna need 25 ounces put into my backpack sprayer and I'm gonna target to spray that still at one gallon per thousand. So I'll have two and a half gallons and that's how I will do it. I've just got a small measuring cup here. This is holds five ounces at a time. You could obviously use a bigger one if you have one and you won't have to fill it as often. All right, so I've got two gallons put into the sprayer and then I need 25 ounces of this. really love this backpack sprayer. I think it may be sold out right now, but if you're waiting to get one or you want to know sort of what I use and my recommendations, I really like this sprayer. And being battery powered and having that consistent spray without having to figure out when to pump or keep the right pressure, it's just nice to have. So I know it's kind of expensive to get going, but if you feel like you're going to be doing some spraying long term or getting into this whole lawn thing, then a nice backpack like this is definitely well worth it. Now I'm just going to let that product sit on the leaf blade for a little while, maybe up to an hour or something here, let it kind of sit on there. And then I'll get everything sort of watered in with my irrigation and that's why it's probably easiest to do this later in the evening and then let it sit and then just run your irrigation like you normally would overnight, like 5 a.m. It's usually somewhere around when I start mine. So something like that would work great. I just happened to be doing it in the morning today when I had time to do this. So hope that explains everything as far as how to use the hose ends, how to put it in a backpack, spray that way, whatever way you prefer should work fine. And if you have questions, let me know. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.